On a recent podcast, controversial podcaster and YouTuber Logan Paul was questioned about his relationship with God. What transpired revealed some major misconceptions that Logan has about God. Now, this isn't Logan's first time mixing it up with spiritual conversation on his podcast. In fact, he actually had now disgraced Hillsong pastor Carl Lentz on his podcast. What the, up? The best looking pastor I've, I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, dude. Like the bro of bros. P What's pastor bro. We're friends for life. I guess so. If you start a combo like that. Now, this is probably the worst pastor that you could get on your program to learn about God. But nonetheless, Logan did have some interesting questions about God, and he opened up a little bit about his faith. I'm I'm confused. I, I don't truly understand. There's too many stories being told. There's too many people saying different things. Mm. Uh, religion, faith, whatever you want to call it, has has led to the deaths of too many people, has led to the, the trauma of too many children. Mm. And I, I, I've just been not shut off to the idea, but turned off momentarily. Yeah. Just recently, Logan Paul once again opened up the book of his spiritual journey. Let's react. No, it's the end of the day. Like normally around this hour, I'd be doing my prayers. This is what I say. <coughs> Dear God, creator universe, thank you for another blessed day on this blessed planet. It's a beautiful place you've created. Happy to be here. Just really happy to be here. Uh, feel very grateful that I was very productive today. Felt very full and complete. I got to do what I wanted to do, which was nice. And I'm feeling very fulfilled again. And that feels good. And I'm very happy and thankful about that. I'm exhausted. But I like that because that means I put all of myself into today. And I want to express my gratitude and hope for another good day tomorrow. Amen. Thank you. I love that. Okay, so when I first watched this clip, I really didn't notice anything too wrong about it. Gratitude's a good thing, right? Wrong. Gratitude is not always a good thing. Yes, you heard me right. Gratitude is not always a good thing. Two reasons, and make sure you stay tuned to the second one to see if you agree. The first reason that gratitude isn't always good is that it depends who your gratitude is directed towards. Gratitude directed towards the universe is just as bad as no gratitude at all because you're attributing the good gift of God to something that doesn't even exist, this, you know, faceless force of the universe, whatever that is. So you might be saying, Isaac, but Logan addresses God in his prayer. So doesn't that mean he's addressing the God of the Bible? Well, based on what I've heard from Logan about his perspective on Christianity and the Bible, though he might admire some aspects of it, he definitely is not praying to the God of the Bible. I like the idea of being a good person and, and following everything that you said. I just, I don't know if I could put a label on it uh, that that would define me in a certain way. Yes, gratitude is important, but what is more important is whom we're being grateful to. Hey man, I got your uh, coffee order here. Ah, yes, thank you. Mm, I love coffee. <clears throat> yeah, me, me too. I'm so glad to have this cup of coffee. It is so delicious and smooth. Thank you to the universe for bringing me this cup of delicious joe. Wait, what? I'm just so thankful to whatever force in the universe decided to get me my coffee order this day. It is a gift. I'm sitting right here. Is there something you want to say to me? Oh yeah, uh, actually, uh, not really. I think I'm gonna get going. Are you kidding me? The second reason that gratitude isn't always a good thing, and pay attention here, is because gratitude is used selfishly. And focusing on the one thing that you are grateful for increases the energy of gratitude and rises just a little bit the joy inside yourself. Just a little bit. If you can get, you can just get to one good feeling. One good feeling helps build on another good feeling and another good feeling. I'm not saying that gratitude should make you feel bad, but people are using gratitude like some sort of instrument that's going to bring you good vibes and happiness. They're telling people to be grateful because it will improve your life or make you happier. It's used selfishly. Here's the main point. This is what I'm getting to. Our gratitude and thankfulness is not about what we can get, but rather we are thankful and grateful towards God because he deserves it. And while the world may adopt Christian ideas, like gratitude because it brings about pragmatic benefits to their lives like that happens because in God's plan there is so much flourishing in healthy ways of being who we were created to be but that's not the ultimate point that's the gift on top of it we are thankful and grateful because God is truly good you know honestly gratitude becomes so much more easy when you realize who God truly is he's not some intergalactic being that created us and dipped when things got bad no 
No, he's the God of the universe who created us in his image. And when we rebelled against him, he provided a way through his son, through Jesus, who is fully God and fully man, to live the life that we could not live and to die on the cross, the death we deserve to die for our sins against God, giving us a way to be forgiven and to become a new creation. There's so much gratitude to be had when we actually see the beauty of the gospel. One sec, where was the, where's the building? Where is, where is you asking your creator to give you strength, wisdom, no, faith, No, never, knowledge? ever, so never. That's, that okay, so hold up. So why doesn't Logan ask? Why doesn't he ask for faith, for courage, from for deliverance from sin, for excellence in his tasks, for freedom from distractions? Why doesn't he ask God? Two reasons, and these aren't just true for Logan. They're also true for us as well. These two reasons are obviously tied up in sin, but here they are. I don't ask God for help, number one, because I don't think he'll deliver. And the second reason is I don't think I need help. It's doubt and pride. Both things not good. Proverbs 11:2 says this, when pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. Only when we humble ourselves are we receptive to wisdom. 1 Peter 3:12 says this, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their prayer, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. God listens to the humble heart, but he resists the prideful prayer. Now Jesus told us about a Pharisee who prayed a very prideful prayer. That's a tongue twister. Dear Lord, thank you that I am not like other people, cheaters, sinners, adulterers, and certainly not a tax collector. I'm so much better than them. Amen. Here's my prayer for Logan, that he would humble himself before God, that even amongst all the money and success that he has acquired, that he would see his own brokenness and sin and be drawn to God in faith. Because in Christ, there is a free gift of salvation available to all of us who call on his name. This video is brought to you by my friends on Patreon. This ministry can really only keep going and growing if folks like you come alongside it to support it and get this message of the gospel out, helping people follow Jesus daily. If you want to be a part of this mission and this calling, uh, head to the link in my description here and sign up on Patreon today. Thanks so much. I will see you next time. God bless.